What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you all have a fantastic day today and today a very exciting model review for you all. Today we're going to be taking a look at the NG models 1 to 400 scale Delta Airlines Airbus A319 and Airbus A320. I really hope you all are excited for today's unboxing video or review rather as we have some really cool models to take a look at and I'm really excited to finally get these after years of asking from NG models. So we'll take the Airbuses out of the way here and we'll just go ahead and start with the boxes as usual. So here's the boxes for the two Airbus Airbus aircraft. They look really nice. So you have the Delta 319 here on the left and Delta 320 on the right. The main difference, of course, is the palette design. I think they were trying to represent the credit cards because they also did a 737, which I'll be getting whenever that comes in. And it was a gold palette, which I believe is on their credit card, but I think this blue one also is too. So is the gray. So Airbus 319, here's the CGI for the aircraft right there. You have a big Delta widget here along with the big one on the right side. So that's really cool too. NG models, NG models, uh, along with the smaller widgets, top left, Airbus A319, a Navy 320, Delta logos, 301 November Bravo, 3320 no Uniform Sierra. So I think they were both legacy Northwest aircraft, but I could be wrong. I'm almost positive 319 is. You wouldn't have to double check on the Airbus 320. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sides. They are pretty cool with the widget. I think it looks really nice. So that's really cool. I definitely like this one the best. It looks really, really cool. And the Airbus 320 also looks good. I like that one too with the widget coming across. It looks really nice. And along with the right side, the maroon's kind of a different color, but it does look cool. And the item numbers for these aircraft is 49026 and 15043. I don't know why just one type of aircraft varies so much, but it does. So what can you do about it? So let's just go ahead and get the Airbus A319 here and we'll start with that one. So here it is, the Delta Airbus 319 by Engine Models. Again, it's a really good model. They did a very sufficient job on it. I am so glad to finally have a really good mold Airbus A319. And overall, this aircraft is a really, really nice one. So let's not waste any further time on that and just go ahead and take a look at the components of the aircraft. So let's just zoom in just a touch more here a little bit. There we go. I'm not trying to make it blurry, but I'm also not trying to get it too high, if that makes sense, the camera angle. So trying to get the best of all worlds here. And this looks pretty solid. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this. So in right here, you have the cockpit windows along with the nose cone right here. Actually, I'm sorry, the lighting can be so much better. So let me just go ahead and adjust it one more time. Sorry, guys. I'm like a lighting connoisseur, so I just can't help it. Then you have the panel right here along with some pitot tubes and the nose landing gear. So you're gonna notice this, and I'll just go ahead and bring in the 320 just so we can go ahead and compare a little bit. The 319's nose landing gear is not slanted as much as the 320's. The 320's is really significant, which I think is good. I think the 319's not supposed to be quite as much, even though same family of aircraft, I think it just isn't supposed to be as much. So they did a good job on that, along with the, just overall the components of it. It looks really nice and structured, so big fan of that, and ultimately that looks really good. Then you got the first antenna, along with the L1 door and Sky Team logo right there. Some more panels down here, and then you get the Delta Airlines billboard titles. You're gonna have where Delta has their first class up here, and then of course you got a Economy Plus, or Delta Comfort Plus in this case, followed by main cabins, so that's really nice. And the second antenna, this is my first ever A319 with the second antenna right here, and I'm very thrilled about it. It looks really good, and I think they did a really good job on it. So that's really cool to see right there. Additionally, you have the beautiful engine right here, the CFMs that look really good. So taking a little look at the sides of them. They did a really good job on the casting. They got a little panel there as well. There's the fan blades. Overall, the detail is elite, and they did a really good job with that. You can see the nose gear axle is a little big right there, but I think every model manufacturer struggles with that a little bit, so I can't complain too much with NG's particular sequence of that. Here's the one emergency exit wing uh, door on the A319, so you see that there, along with the grid wing detail for the flap slot, the speed brakes, and the emergency exit pad as well. So all that detail looks really adequate. You do have really good fence tip detail over there as well. And again, the main landing gears also look really good, so very thrilled about their efforts on the main landing gear. You can get a little hint of that delta underbelly too if you throw it down like that, so ultimately really good. You do have the Wi-Fi box, which is really big on this aircraft, surprisingly, but it does look very nice, so good job by NG for representing that. Along with the bottom antenna before you run into the registration, November 301, November Bravo, L2 door, and then you have the Delta Airlines widget tail, so you have the lighter red, followed by the maroon, along with the Navy background, 3101 is the ship number, and I think it's really cool they put that on their in-flight entertainment units on these aircraft, so that's really cool. Horizontal stabilizers, APU, the rest of the details, very adequate, it looks very sound for uh, Jim, or sorry, NG rather here, so that's really nice. Right side of the aircraft also has some very sufficient detail. You can see a couple panels up here in the front. Again, nose leaning gear, you can really tell on this side that it doesn't lean very much. And again, it's supposed to have a little bit, and I think they got just the right amount there on this aircraft. Got a panel right there, along with the baggage door number one there in the front. 
get the CFM56, so that looks really nice. There's the leading edge again of the wing and the pylon for the engine also looks really nice. Top down view, very good detail. And the back baggage door also looks really good and a couple of hazards around the horizontal stabilizers as well. Hazards might be the wrong word, but you know, the panel pieces, you know what I'm talking about. Here's the top of the aircraft, it looks really good. Wi-Fi box is big, they did a good job on that. Bottom's also really cool. I flip them around the wrong way every time, but you do have the Delta underbelly. That's really cool to see along with the additional, I'm not sure if these are panels or what the detail is exactly, but that detail as well. So ultimately it looks really good. Again, very thrilled to finally have a good mold Airbus A319 Delta aircraft and super cool to have this. So now I'll bring in the 320 and for the sake of not being redundant, I'll just highlight the key differences with this aircraft. So let's go ahead and take a look at those differences by focusing on the airplane. So the main differences is first off, that landing gear tilt is way out in the front. So that's certainly very significant. Other characteristics that are different, we know that the A320 is longer than the A319. So of course it's gonna be significantly longer. So visually it looks different. You can also notice that the antenna is uh, farther back. It's in the same position as it is on 319, but you know, distance between two antennas are different. And also I believe this is my first A320 with an antenna located here. So that's really cool. But it starts at that leading edge of the wing. Outside of that, the front of the aircraft is almost completely identical. However, there is this uh, logo right here, this one. And I believe that is like best airline of 2022 sticker or equivalent. So Indy must have just had a picture that had that on there. So it is cool to have a little bit of difference between these two, just enough, but also not too much. So definitely very nice right there, especially if I wouldn't have noticed without pointing it out. There's also this blue one right here, which again, I'm not exactly sure what it, it means in this particular case, but it does look very good. I can confirm that. So that's really nice. Again, stretch jobs, so not too many other differences. The CFMs, I believe, are the exact same, so that's really cool. The leading edge is the exact same. You do have two overwing axes on the A320, of course, so that's gonna be the difference. The pads are the same. Again, very, very small differences from here. The back of the fuselage is almost near, nearly uh, identical with regards to the shape, but it is a little bit longer. There are a couple of slight differences. I think uh, the image that they used for this aircraft was probably just slightly older than the one that they used for the A319 mainly because of the blue cheat line that comes just slightly over the wing, opposed to the A320, which starts just below the wing. So I think they had just a slight update. Again, very neglectable details here, but just thought I'd mention so that you're aware. You also have the bottom antenna there as well, so that's the same, but the Wi-Fi box is significantly farther back than on the A319. I'm not exactly sure what the reasoning for that is, but it is pretty interesting to note how far back that is. So it's literally back here with the registration, which is another different 320 Uniform Sierra. Outside that, the tail piece is pretty much identical. I'll just throw it up next to each other just for the sake of looking at the differences. The height's just slightly different just based upon QC. Otherwise, you can see the tails are pretty much identical. 320 might just be slightly bigger, but again, they look almost the exact same to me. Ship number on this aircraft is 3220, I believe, is what it looks like. So nice to see the differences there. Outside of that, we pretty much have an exact same Airbus A319 and A320. So I guess just for fun, I'll just line them up kind of like this. Not really uh, any professional scale, just thought it'd be kind of cool to line them up in a neat format. So yeah, I really hope that you all enjoyed this review. These are two really cool models that I'd highly recommend. The A3, I think the A3, I can't, I think the 320 came out first followed by 319 or it was reversed obviously. So again, very cool to get these models in the collection. I think they're really nice and they'll certainly serve a very important purpose here in my collection as they took over for the Aero Classics versions I had of these aircraft previously. So. Jim and I also did do a 319. It did look pretty good, excluding the nose cone and the CFMs. So good job, Jim and I, on that. I do want to get the 1200 version of that at some point. That one looked really, really great. So, and I definitely would like to continue to build up my 1200 fleet with various aircraft types and airlines. So I don't have an A319 yet. So it'd be cool to get one of those at some point, along with others. I don't even think I have an A320. I think I just have 321. So definitely want to get one of those at some point in the future. But nevertheless, really hope that you all enjoyed this review. Thank you all so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Just process. Do you love and love you do. My name is Red Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all soon as Red Aviation is signing off.